Three and zero on Monday's video. Three and one yesterday. Nine and three overall inside Discord. Fifty four and thirteen win loss record over the last ten days, and plus forty three units in the month of May for just MLB alone. It has been an incredible month, an incredible heater. And I'm excited to bring another three picks at you today and give you a huge discount right after this video. All right, here's the deal. Down below in the description section, there's a Discord link. Click that link in the welcome channel in my Discord. Tag me. You tag at DFS and Donuts or whatever my name is. I think it's you. At DFS and Donuts and say, hey, I'm here for the discount. I will DM you how to get the discount, I'm gonna give you a huge one so that you can basically try everything we offer. The model website, the model tools, uh, all of our data sheets that we have in Discord, the seven or eight private Discord channels full of prize picks, full of stats and research and notes, full of betting slips, betting sheets, betting picks, analysis, wagered units, all sorts of stuff from five different cappers and two other staff members that help organize it all. It's all for you, and it's extremely, extremely discounted. But you have to tag me inside Discord in the welcome channel, and then I will shoot you a DM and tell you how to, to uh, get set up for it, okay? Let's get to those three picks. First one's going to be a gem, something we used the other day when we won tons of money, and I feel like we're going to do it again tonight. Let's go. All right, so I'm not going to tell you if it's over and under on these picks, but we're going to talk about Al Horford. That first one's definitely an over. We played this one in the last video. We're doing it again. He ended up with uh, three assists. He pushed, and I told people, you know, if it moves to three and a half, which I think it will, I want you to make sure that you are kind of staying away. So here's the deal. I'm, I even told people on sportsbooks, and I showed the video, I think we grabbed that at like minus 148, over two and a half assists. And I said, I think this either moves to like minus 180, uh, over two and a half or a moves to over three and a half or three and a half assist prop with like a plus 115. Well, it finished at plus, uh, finished at three and a half assists for plus 125 on FanDuel Sportsbook. So I was, I was extremely close on what I thought would happen. And guess what? It opened at three and a half on FanDuel Sportsbook uh, today as well. So I think that taking the three here is just a really nice way to do it. In his last 30 playoff games, he's either pushed or hit the over in 24 of the 30 games i will continue to use al horford well he's playing 40 minutes per game basically over the last you know two series of basketball even when robert williams is in there he's playing a ton right now and i'm going to take the push factor and the over absolutely i like this a lot al horford uh give me the over three assists let's move to some mlb though so uh christian javier so I, you know, I'm kind of upset we're looking at around five here, but I did look it up and I was looking at Christian Javier in his starts where he's thrown 80 plus pitches. Now he's done that in four of his last five games. One of them, he just, he got rocked. He had like a really, really bad start. Uh, three starts ago, just did not go well through 54 pitches, got yoinked early. And I looked back at last season. I looked at this season, including uh, you know, his, his four starts over 80 pitches when he's able to get to that 80 pitch mark. All right. When he's able to dig deep for him and that is deep for him, they don't, they don't give him a really long leash and they definitely don't let him go out there throwing 98, hundred pitches. But when he gets the 80 plus, he actually clears over five. He actually clears over four and a half strikeouts in nine out of the 12 games. And he cleared uh six plus strikeouts in seven of the 12. So you're telling me 75% of the time when he throws 80 plus pitches, he's going to either push at this line or clear it and hit the over. I like that, especially when the strikeout board today, I think was very difficult. I was going to take a Ranger Suarez over four and a half. I saw it on books. I liked it. And then I came over here and I saw they already had bumped him at five. You know, it's just a little bit tougher today. I was looking at Giolito at six and a half. Potentially, we'll come back to him later. Talk about him. Cal Quantrill almost made the list as well. Uh, some of these teams are just, you know, Boston's heating up a little bit. That's kind of scary. Houston just not striking out a ton. Also difficult for a guy that only has like a 7% strike uh, swinging strike uh, rate. So... I went with Christian Javier, even though it is a little juiced for prize picks. I'm still a fan there with the push and over rate of 75% at 80 plus pitches. Do you think he can get the 80 pitches? If you don't today against Cleveland, then he's not somebody you should be including on your board. I think if you really want to make it easier and you're trying to do this cross sport uh, power play or flexes, 
Um, L. Horford with Robbie Ray is a fine way to go. Over seven and a half strikeouts. Now we're getting Robbie Ray. I mean, he's entering the zone. And when Robbie Ray starts to get in the zone, watch out. He is so electric. Faces Oakland today as a 24.1% strikeout rate against left-handed pitchers. And Robbie Ray, man, oh, man. I, I pointed him out last week. We had a Robbie Ray ladder, I think, over six and a half. He ended up at eight strikeouts. I think we climbed two rungs. And potentially have a ladder in play today as well. I'll post that in Discord for my members if I go there. But he's starting to throw a lot of pitches. His swinging strike rate has gone up in three straight starts. And what do you know? All three starts, 10, 9, and 8 strikeouts. So you're telling me he's averaging nine strikeouts per game over the last three games. He's thrown 104, 97, 87 uh, pitches in those three. 102 prior to that. He's fully stretched out. Looks good. Has a decent BVP against... Uh, you know, most of the batters in this lineup for Oakland over the last three years. And when you go back to last season and you look at Robbie Ray on the road, it's not like he's he's better or worse at home or on the road um, by a significant margin. But it was enough for me to sit there and be like, oh, that's actually really interesting. Robbie Ray on the road last year had a 60 percent hit rate over 20 starts at this seven and a half strikeout line. And he actually climbed a nine plus and seven of the 20 starts. So 33% of the time, he actually got the nine, which is why I kind of like the latter here. Faced Oakland last year uh, once and had nine strikeouts against them. I think that Robbie Ray, with his uh, with his swinging strike rate increasing, he's throwing more strikes as well. I was looking at his uh, strike to ball ratio and it continues to increase. He's entering the zone. Robbie Ray, when he's not walking people, is one of the best strikeout pitchers in all of baseball. I love this three picks today. Uh, if you're going in order of my favorite, I would go Horford, then Ray, then Christian Javier down here. All right. Now, again, 54 and 13 over my last 10 days for prize picks, plus 43 units on the month as a company for MLB. And I think uh, we're going to have a phenomenal May 25th. And I hope you do too. Remember, Discord link down below. Go ahead and grab that link if you want to try us out. I'll give you the website. I'll give you the models. I'll give you the tools. I'll give you the data sheets. I'll give you the picks and the private channels. That's that's a lot of things for a major, major discount uh, since it's the end of the month on Patreon. And Patreon charges the day you sign up and then the first of the month. So I don't want people who are like, man, I really, really want to sign up. But I don't want to get charged twice in like six, seven days, right? Because you would get charged today and then again on June 1st. And June 1st charge would be for the month of June. So I figured I'd give everybody this massive discount. And that gives them an opportunity to go ahead and just have all of the goodies for the final week of May. Super cheap. And then on June 1st, they get the normal charge. Uh, and it's basically like I, I, it's like my manual way to prorate it. I've got a really good idea. I'm going to try it first time I've ever done it this way. So let's try. Let's try. Okay. I will see you inside Discord. Tag me in the welcome channel. Say donuts. I'm here for my discount, baby. I'll see you on the inside, my friends. Have a good day.